everybody, the infamous Tony here, and welcome to something that is a little bit different from what you're used to seeing from me. Uh, this isn't really a Let's Play, it's more of a showcase, but uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm a fan of rugby, and my wife and I fell in love with the sport uh, within the past uh, couple years, and, and uh, we really just enjoy everything about it. Um, let me down a hair. Okay, that should be a little bit better. Anyway, uh, we fell in love with the sport, and it's just, it's absolutely phenomenal. We love everything about it. Um, and I own a copy of Rugby Challenge. There we go. I own a copy of Rugby Challenge 2, and I really enjoy the game. So I wanted immediately when I heard that Rugby Challenge 3 was coming out, I wanted to check it out and see what it was. Now this is a, uh, it's not a, not really a full demo, as you guys can see. There's only, uh, you know, there's no playing options. You can create players and create teams and things like that, but you can go in and. Uh, and kind of get an idea of what uh, what the game looks like by uh, by going through uh, the creative mode. And as you can see, it's uh, graphically it's it's kind of a pretty game. Uh, I uh, don't see a lot of graphical difference from uh, Rugby Challenge 2 to this, but Again, it, it just it does look very, very good compared to uh, most other uh, rugby games. Uh, now, the creative uh, thing hasn't changed a whole lot. I mean, you can still, you can still do pretty much whatever with it. Um, not a... Not a lot of uh, not a lot of differences in the uh, <laughs> in the uh, creative mode. Uh, a lot of the stuff seems to be the same as the as the previous installment. What I did notice when I was looking at this uh, is that you can now add tattoos, which was not, um, I don't think it was available in Rugby Challenge 2. Um, so you can now add tattoos to your, uh, your players, uh, which is very cool. Um, kind of, just kind of customize them a little bit more. There's that. Um, now, as far as the as far as the teams go, now the big question that everybody you know everybody has when games like this come out, you know, is is who's in the game? You know, what what licenses are actually in the game? I noticed when I was looking at this game that there's actually a, a few teams that are no longer in the game uh, that were in uh, Rugby Challenge Two. Uh, New Zealand and uh, Australia obviously are in the game, the Wallabies. Um, they've added uh, England to uh, the lineup, and the Springboks of South Africa are also uh, in the game now. Uh, now, sadly for uh, fans of USA Rugby, uh, the Eagles are not in the game. I know that's depressing as I'll get out. Uh, it, it is for me anyway. Uh, Scotland's not, uh, lic their license team is not in the game. Um, there's South Africa right there. It's, it looks great. Um, there's the Springboks. Springboks. Um, 
so, uh, so a few of the licensed teams that, that were in Rugby Challenge 2 are no longer in uh, Rugby Challenge 3. Now, I did contact one of the developers with uh, Wicked Witch Gaming and asked them a few of the obvious questions. You know, like, are you still in negotiations with uh, other teams? Are you trying to get the licenses? Uh, and I haven't heard back yet. I hope that the answer to that question is yes. See, there's the uh, the USA non-licensed uh, jersey or strip. Um, I haven't heard back from them yet, so hopefully I'll get a yes, and we can look forward to seeing some more licensed teams in, in this, especially with uh, the World Cup. Uh, just a few weeks away. I'd like to see a lot of the uh, a lot of the teams that are in the World Cup represented in this game. I think it would be uh, be a huge boost in popularity for this title uh, on the international market uh, to feature all of those teams. Uh, granted, this is uh, one of the best rugby games out there. So if you are a fan of rugby. The Rugby Challenge series you probably already know about, uh, so I'm not telling you anything that you don't know. Um, I'm, all these are custom stuff, and there's a lot of uh, a lot of the similar uh, or jerseys that are similar to uh, some of the licensed stuff in there. So I'm just blazing right through these. Um, but yeah, so far the game looks great. It looks very similar to Rugby Challenge 2. Some of the things that I'm hoping will happen in this um, in this new installment are improved AI for one. That would be a, a huge, huge um, <laughs> thing if they improved the AI and made it a little bit more I don't know. I don't know what the word, the word, the right word would be. Um, you know, had them actually play more like actual rugby players than computers imitating rugby players. Um, but you know, Rugby Challenge Two wasn't terrible, so uh, it doesn't require a lot of improvement in that fact. I mean, I mean, I love the game and the and the ability to play online was probably one of my favorite things about Rugby Challenge 2. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, just just uh, looking at a few of these things, just kind of going through and uh, just seeing what all is to come for Rugby Challenge 3. It looks like there's going to be a lot. Canada also uh, does not have their uh, license team. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's it's so difficult to do a, do a review of a demo. Um, you know, I, I want to go through here and just go through, like like one by one and talk about all of the teams that are in the game and aren't in the game, and you know which ones I want to see finally make it into the game and so on and so forth. But that would be a huge long video. Um, I'm just happy that this game is coming out uh, now. It it is a, th this demo is available. Uh, on Steam, there is a link in the description below this video for you guys, so you can actually download it, play around with the creator, and uh, you know, just have fun with that while waiting on the full version of Rugby Challenge 3 to come out. This game will be available for the PC as well as the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, um, from what I understand. Now, uh, Rugby Challenge 2 was available um, without. Region, regional restrictions, uh, which is great uh, if you live in the U.S. because you have, we have trouble getting good titles. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, hopefully this one will have that same those same benefits, and uh, you know it'll be available uh, in a region-free format. I hope. I, I don't want to speak for the developers, so uh, but they did they did uh, during their last game, so maybe they'll do that again. Um, in the meantime, you know, 
there's there's always the PC version which will be available on Steam I assume so um, it looks great everything about it looks phenomenal I'm very happy with the way the game looks and they didn't take away a lot from Rugby Challenge 2 oh yeah and there's one other thing that they did add that I that I uh, think is pretty cool um, sevens they added sevens so uh, that's awesome uh, one of the things that, uh, that Rugby Challenge 2 did not have was uh, sevens so awesome <laughs> it is available now so yeah that's pretty cool so I'm, I'm really excited to see the final finished product of this game um, I think it's gonna be, be a lot of fun to play and you know I'm not gonna do a big long let's play of it when it comes out I might uh, I might do one more review of this game if you guys want uh, just to kind of see how uh, it differs from uh, Rugby Challenge 2 uh, see if they actually improve some of the things that they needed to improve on um, but yeah so that's it for this I don't want to ramble on any longer than I already have uh, since there's no actual gameplay but uh, yeah let me know what you guys think what uh, if you guys are fans of uh, the rugby challenge series uh, and have been following this game for a while let me know what you guys uh, are looking forward to seeing in the upcoming title uh, in the comments below or uh, you know if if you're not a fan of the Rugby Challenge series, if you have not ever played the Rugby Challenge series, uh, you know, check it out and let me know what you guys think. Um, uh, for the most part, you can find uh, Rugby Challenge 2 online. Uh, like I said, it, it, it is available region free, so uh, I was able to import it from somewhere in Australia and it works perfect on my PlayStation 3, so there you go. Um, anyway, that's all I've got for this. Guys, don't forget to click on subscribe and uh, the annotation at the end of the video for more videos that I've done. Hopefully this title will be out soon and I will be able to give a more comprehensive review when that happens. Uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, I'm the infamous Tony. Thank you for stopping by my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! See? That wasn't too bad. Okay! <laughs> Just bets. Just bets.